leading decision involving pre-existing contractual obligation owed to the same party is the case of Gilbert Steele and University Construction, which is a decision of the Ontario Court of Appeal. In that case, we have, we have two, two agreements, and they both involve the same parties. One party, the first party, uh, which is the plaintiff, is Gilbert Steele, and the second party is University Construction. Gilbert Steele was a supplier of steel for, for construction, and University Construction was the, the, the general contractor. So agreement number one between, between those, these two parties involved a promise by University Construction to pay a set price for, for the supply of steel by Gilbert Steele. So Gilbert Steele had promised to supply several shipments of steel at that set price. Now, as after a, a few shipments had been made, the, the world price of steel had gone up. So Gilbert Steele went back to University Construction and told them about the increase in the price of steel and to see if University Construction would be willing to pay a higher price for the remaining shipments of steel. So that led to agreement number two between Gilbert Steele and University Construction. Under agreement number two, University Construction had agreed to pay an additional amount for, for the steel. And that, and that additional amount for, was, for the, uh, was for Gilbert Steel to supply the remaining shipments as per the original agreement, agreement number one. The court found that that promise to supply the remaining shipments under agreement number two was not valid consideration because because that promise had already been made under agreement number one and that university construction did not receive any new benefit from that from that promise to supply the remaining shipments and therefore that second contract agreement number two is void for lack of consideration.